Before starting this video, in case if you are not subscribed my channel, please take a moment and subscribe to my channel. Now you can also follow and contact me via Instagram and Facebook. The link will be given in the description. Let's get straight away started with the video. So today's video will be most interesting because every person would like to own this uh, baby monitor. Whoever have kids in their home, or it can be a cost efficient. So let's see the making of this. So first, you just need to go on a Chrome browser and click on the link pygirl.blogspot.com where I'll give the link in the description below. You can directly click on that and go through this or redirect through this link. So here, this is our blog where we are looking to. So what is baby monitor? This is also known as a baby alarm which is used to listen uh, whatever sounds made by a baby. So this consists of basically a transmitter and a receiver or a microphone where it, you can hear the voice of a baby. Okay, so let's straight away get started with that. So here we will first thing what we are going to do is we will see the connection of ESP32 with mic. So we will see the connection and also test whether if it is working or not and later we will combine all of this into a ESP32 and work it as a baby monitor. So first thing would be the connection of ESP32 with a mic. So what mic I am using over here it is nothing but INMP441. Okay so so as you can see this is the module how it looks like and it has uh, six pins where you can connect these pins with ESP32. Okay so here we are giving a supply of 3.3 volts. So the VDD or VCC uh, of uh, this microphone is going to connect uh, through 3.3 volts of ESP32. So first we are giving a connection on or a supply of 3.3 volts. Next right after that we are going to give a ground connection. So here we are connecting the ground of uh, mic to uh, the ground of ESP32. Hope you are clear to this point where we are giving a supply of 3.3 volts and the ground connection of to ground of ESP32. So once we are done with that, so here we have something called LRR. Um, this is uh, the pin which would be probably here will be connected to the ground of ESP32. So if you have observed there are two grounds for ESP32. So one ground would be connected for this and this is connected to the ground of ESP32 again. Okay. So coming, coming to the next uh, uh, pin which is WS. Probably it is here. The WS pin is connected to the 15th pin of uh, ESP32 and right after this uh, the SEK which is a serial clock pin is connected to the 14th pin of ESP32. Hope I have written these connections so that you can clearly understand without any mistakes you can connect it. Okay. So the SDPN which is a serial data pin is connected to 32 pin of ESP32. Okay. So here are the connection of my with ESP32. So now once your connections are done with ESP32, next thing you need to do is upload the code. So we'll just copy this code given below. Okay. We're just copying this code given below and we are going to put it on Arduino IDE. So once you put it on Arduino IDE, just compile and upload the code. So uh, you need to just save and uh, run it. So once you are done with that, we'll see the results. So here uh, your upload speed and uh, flash frequency and partition scheme should be noted. Uh, we are going to see how the speaker with ESP32 works. Okay, so this is also the second uh, thing we are going to do to check whether if the speaker is working perfectly fine with ESP32. So just, this is just to re-ensure about how speaker works and how mic works. 
since we saw the uh, outputs of the mic if you could uh, get it then it has worked it right so now we will come to the um, checking of uh, ESP32 with speakers so here the connections are uh, we are going to connect the ESP32 to the speaker via I2 yes okay so now what we are going to do here B C B L C K is going to be connected with the uh, uh, I uh, 27 pin okay so okay let's just before that uh, we are going to see the supply so here we are going to give a supply of 5 volts and then ground connection is done to ground hope you got this so for mic we needed just 3.3 volt supply do not increase more than that and neither give less over here so here you need to give a supply of 5 volts with a uh, ground to ground connection so once you are done with that we will come back to the pins so here blck pin is connected to the uh, 27th pin of esp32 okay so these are returns over here so first is lrc lrc is connected to the 26th pin okay you can connect these pins however you want and in case if you want to connect them with the different pins here is the code where you need to change all this okay so once you connect uh, these pins uh, with the dean as a uh, dean is connected to the 25th pin and the gain to the ground and sd is not connected to the any pin okay so i have put just a dash okay so once you are done with that all these connections hope you got this these pins can be interchanged or put it anyway the only thing you need to do is go change it over here as well okay so once you get that just go copy this code and put it in your okay so we'll just post this in Arduino code and this code also is already given in the link description you can run it however you want and we'll just save this and it will be saved as speaker test okay and I'll just save this okay we will run this of ESP32 and INMP441 and MAX98357A okay so here what you're supposed to do is now as we tested separately both of them and they were both working fine now we are ready for actual uh, baby monitor setup which can be done by this uh, circuit diagram and we are ready for that so once you are done with both of them we'll just go see with this okay so here what is happening now ESP32 is connected to the INMP441 so as I said you the pins can be interchanged and coded accordingly so here I have changed my pins to the, some different pins and even you can do it however you want okay so this is our ESP32 as we said uh, we are going to go a uh, supply of 3.3 volts to this INMP and we are going to connect the ground as ground okay so we are done with these two points now now D33 pin is connected to the WS, D32 pin is connected to the S0 or SD and D35 pin is connected to the C SCK which is a serial clock. So these are the connection with the mic. Okay. Coming to the MAX 98357A, here we are going to connect the ESP32 with MAX uh, which is which is I2S. Here we are going to give a supply of 5 volts and ground to ground connections here now we are going to connect the lrc with the uh, d14 pin bc blc game to the d27 pin and d in to the d26 pin okay once we are connected to all these pins accordingly here we are all set to connect the speaker to the max 98357a i2s okay once we are done with this connections now it's time for us to upload the code for uh, ESP32 for all of these uh, things okay 
so we will just see that okay so for that i'm going to upload my code via uh, vsc code okay so here i'm going to use platform ivo for uploading code for my esp32 okay so i'll just open my vsc code and show you so this is the code uh, i am going to upload in my uh, uh, esp32 okay so once you upload that you can just click on this serial monitor as you can see over here so here we are going to so here we are going to click on serial monitor so here we need to choose a port so i'm going to choose my port and just right before this you are going to the, it is showing connection fail so you need to turn on your uh, hotspot for this and then uh, i have connected it will be running in a loop until it can connect it so once it get connected it will start working so as you can see it has started uh, working so once i press the transmitter button it will start transmitting as well receiving and transmitting both works alternately okay so uh, in case if you want to uh, receive the data uh, whatever is being said it can be done without clicking any button so that's why the that is how it works here this is the coding part as you can see it is connected to the particular ip address and port number 8192 now this has a uh, buttons where it will start receiving and transmitting the data now as you can see this is a hardware part with a speaker and a mic in it now let's see its function let's just press this so whatever i'm speaking here it has been heard here okay there's lot, okay, there lot of noise but you can hear it, can hear it. this is the mic this and the this mic data and is data being is buffering, buffering and we can and hear we it can from this rtp speaker. speaker if you could hear, could hear on this phone, on this phone. now let's just now let's stop just this stop it's streaming it's on, on here you can here. see i hope you like this content and we'll try to recreate so if you like this video please take a moment and subscribe to my channel and also the code for the link will be given in the description so you can try recreating these videos